waiting for the uh, results to come in. that I'll get him the report when the results come in. Can't wait to get out of here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I just... <sighs> yes. I'm sorry. I just had to give David some critical information. Work. It's always critical. It's not more important than you. What, what did you want to say to me? It doesn't matter. Honey, I thought that this was going to be a nice opportunity to combine some work with a little mother-daughter time. Didn't you have a good time here? It was okay. What, do you want me to lie? No. It was fantastic. I love every creepy crawly bug I saw. It's just such a wonderful world out there. I want you to see it. I want you to grow. I'd rather gone to Maui or anywhere a little more civilized. This place is what Maui was a hundred years ago. <laughs> That's my point. Ah. Is your stomach feeling better, Mr. Robbery? My stomach kind of felt better since I got off the plane. <clears throat> and I drank my first glass of water that I couldn't see through. I would like to keep you here for another day and run some more tests. No, no can do. I got a sales presentation in Cleveland in two days. Besides, I'm sure it's nothing important. Maybe, but I'd rather not take the chance. Look, Doc, did you hear what I said? I couldn't see through the water. Now, I probably got some sort of intestinal dysfunction. It's either that or the food. All the same, it doesn't matter. Look, if I felt secure enough to deal with the facilities here, then I would have bypassed this visit altogether. I don't think you but understand what I'm... the standards what here... I mean, come on. I mean, you're telling me that you can't find a toilet bowl cleaner and a toilet brush? I mean, even a bucket of water and a rag, a bottle of water, Mr. Anything. Aubrey, yes, you're right. It could be just something intestinal. But I suspect it's something deeper. Your white cell count is very high, as is your blood pressure. The signs point to some form of anaphylactic shock. It's a reaction to the bite of an insect. Yeah, but you already treated me for that. I give you a shot of epinephrine. And I'm yes. good to go. Again, I suggest you stay in for some more tests. Por favor. I see. Look, I appreciate your concern. My plane leaves in two hours, Doctor. All I need to know is, can I get on it? Technically, yes. Great. Then I'm going to tell my friendly doctor as soon as I get back, OK? So you're going to miss this? Are you kidding me? I can't wait to retire. Trout population of Crystal Lake. Never know what hit him. Well, I'm gonna miss flying with you. What you talking about? I'll be back to do an occasional guest appearance. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the FAA would love that. Otra vez para el amigo, por favor. No más aquí. Paul, you might want to dial it back just a little bit. Ah, I travel a lot better when I'm faced. It's our last hour in South America. Let's take it out in a little bit of stop. I'm so. good. Blue skies all the way. I will definitely make it home for the rehearsal. Love you too, honey. Oh, it's so cute you guys getting married. I'm only 65% full, so it doesn't look too bad. Good, because I've been on a crazy schedule the last few days, and this one gets me home. I could use a light load and an uneventful flight. It's a smooth air. Oh, sleeping passengers. Mmm, <laughs> it smells like, I don't know what, baked bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's not happy. I think he's hungry again. Well, I fed him at the hotel just before we left. Yeah, but you're a growing boy, aren't you? Maybe yeah. I should. I can't believe that woman. She just pulled her breast out in the middle of an airport. She's being very discreet. Doesn't matter. It's not right. Stop it. Talking about things that aren't right. 
I'll bet they'll be sitting right in front of us or right behind us. I just know it. Your mother said you were a baby once. Doodle bug, you know she lied. <laughs> well, hello, how are you today? Fine, thank you, and you? Oh, I'm just a few ounces away from perfection. Where are you headed? Atlanta. Atlanta, me too, University of Georgia. You ever been to the uh, chameleon? My Mystery? fiance and I are not into the club scene. Your fiance? Is there a problem? No, right? No, there's no problem at all. What's your problem? I have no problem. Would you just go back to the bar, have a drink? Relax. Well, maybe I will. I'll do what I want, you know. Thanks. He's harmless. Just don't quite a match anywhere near his breath. I'll keep an eye on him. I'm sure you will, Mr. Hart. Thank you. You're welcome. Attention all passengers. Flight 603 to Atlanta is now boarding at gate 7. Attention, passengers del vuelo 603. Hydraulic system pressure. Check. Brake pressure. Check. First engine power, check. <clears throat> Second engine power, check. Hello? No, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Yes, sir. I specifically requested a seat on the left side of the aircraft. Okay, well, why don't you have a seat right now and then we'll look at Look, my travel agent train. told me I would be on the left side of the aircraft. We'll do everything that we can, sir. Oh. Excuse me, could you please get me some water or some uh, juice, something, because I'm not feeling very well. Okay, I hope it's nothing contagious. No, no, it's, this is something intestinal. Okay, the natives down here, the hygiene, right. the sanitation okay. is just ridiculous. I understand, sir. Please, why don't you have a seat, sir, and I'll be right with you, okay. all right? Oh, my God. At least we're not riding next to any babies. What's going to happen when we have a family? What do you mean? Don't you think our baby will cry? Yeah. You'll be there to look after it, right? <coughs> That's just, just great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Yes. Um, I'm just wondering if you might be able to hook me up with like a vodka or something like that. We'll announce when the beverage service is available. All right, fair enough. Yes. Isn't he a sweetie pie? He's up, squid bait. Hey, man, I'm just calling him like, <clears throat> come on. Well, don't call him so loud, OK? Hey, relax, buddy. Don't touch me. Sorry. Flight attendants will prepare the cabin for departure. It's not my fault we got a flat tire. I can't tell more. Come on, hurry up. I'm hurrying. All passengers with Mr. Romero Hill Gonzalez, please report to the transportation. Hello, ladies. Close. It wasn't my fault. No one is blaming you. Except you. Okay. You need to take your seats, ladies. We are ready for takeoff as soon as you're strapped in. Okay. It's not my fault we're late. You want to walk home? Give me a break. Look, I would be happy to give you a break. You just need to learn to be a little more responsible. How would you know how responsible I am? It's not like you're ever around. Excuse me. There's no electronic devices until we take off or the captain gives his OK. OK? Thank you. I'm sorry that I need to work so hard so I can buy expensive things like iPods. Yeah, whatever. Sweetheart, I am just trying to run my life. Which is pretty funny, considering you're having a hard enough time running your own. Excuse me? You're so uptight all the time. I am not. You really need to loosen up. What, me? Maybe it'd help if you started dating. Oh, oh god, here we go. I'm sorry, but since Dad died, it's like you've taken a vow of chastity or something. I don't think we need to discuss this. Why not? It's okay to analyze my life, but not yours? That's not fair. 
been over five years. I just haven't met anyone that I'm attracted to. As soon as a man shows any interest, you make up excuses to turn and run. That's not true. Jerry, Tim, that stockbroker from Baltimore. Jerry was obnoxious when he drank, which was all the time. Tim loved the sound of his own voice, and he never stopped talking. And Dennis, that stockbroker, he Mom, was... no one's perfect. You need to be less critical and give someone a chance. You know, maybe you should take some of your own advice. What's that supposed to mean? Ever since your father died, you've really cut yourself off. From who? Well, from your friends, from after-school activities. Mom, you don't... Don't change the subject. Just go for it. Just go for it? Sweetheart, I don't think that's really my style. Maybe it's time to change who you are. Maybe you'd be a little happier. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We've been cleared for takeoff. Everyone make sure that your seatbelts are fastened and your tray tables are up. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 35,000 feet and a speed of 550 knots. This flight should last a little over three hours. And other than some turbulence northwest of Cuba, which I believe we can avoid, uh, this trip should be relatively uneventful. We need to spend at least an hour every night writing thank yous for the gifts. We should try to add something personal to each one. People appreciate that. Can't we just send some emails or something? It isn't done that way. Well, we could start a new tradition. Captain, flight center advises course correction to 283. Roger that, course correction, 283. I said I wanted a cocktail. You bring it to me. FAA rules are very strict about serving alcohol to intoxicated passengers. Now, if you would like a soft drink. Oh, sir. God, I don't want a soft drink, actually, it's okay? Made right, it's made the right call, Paul. You've had enough. Ken, when did you turn into a bitch? I'm just wondering. Damn <laughs> it, you turned into such an ass. Keep your voices down, please. Yeah. And what can I get you? Oh, you're some kind of bugs. <laughs> 
down in your seat. You have to sit down, please. What are you crazy? I don't want them crawling on my legs. It's against FAA regulations. Yeah, well, screw the FAA. Oh, gross. My hands to that guy's body. Mom, why are you going? I'm just going to go see if I can help. I don't want to stay here by myself. I think we're fine. I'll be right there. Mom! I think go down by the lug. Oh no, what about Buddy? Oh, he'll be okay. Dude, no. Drink. <laughs> Drink. What about now? Is now a good time for a Boy, class to Relax. Kayla. Kayla. Please go find me some heavy duty trash bags and some duct tape, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'll be in there. Kate, Kate, go help her out, please. Watch the body. Come on, it's all right. Is there anything I can do to help? Take a seat. I got it under control, okay? Hey, it's back on your clavada. A black bullet aid. It's indigenous to the rainforest ranging from Nicaragua to the Amazon basin. Typically, they nest in warm, dark places like trees. They're probably below, ready to come out at any time. in the cabin. And what's the problem up there? We appear to have ants on board the aircraft and they've attacked one of the passengers. You gotta be kidding. What? Did you say? Honey, when I was six years old, like I bit into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that somebody left on the counter. And I didn't know, but it was crawling with ants. And ever since then, it's just heebie jeebies. Here, take a couple of these. But uh, Prozac? When, when did you start taking those? The last couple of months have been really stressful for me. Honey. Like you know what you're talking about. I'm an entomologist. Lucky for us. Is he really dead? Afraid so. Captain, these ants aren't normal. What do you mean they're not normal? Ants aren't parasitoid. They don't breed in human hosts. Well, how do you explain this? I can't. Not yet. Ants aren't even migratory unless their nest is threatened or destroyed. Generally, they just spread by accident. Accident? What do you mean? For example, a uh, hundred ants would eat their way into something like a peach, and they would make their nest in the hollowed-out pit. Then maybe something like an animal or a bird would pick that up, and a few days later, it would be a mile or two down the road. Then the ants, they would establish a new colony there. Why a human this time instead of a peach pit? I don't know. Maybe the ants felt so threatened, they just hitched a ride on whatever was available. Uh, Captain, I don't know what protocol is here, but... I think that it would be wise to land the plane as soon as possible. Well, come on, I mean, we're just talking about ants here, right? Their venom is the most painful of all insect stings, possibly the most toxic. These ants could be extremely dangerous. Captain, we should get rid of the body, huh? Move it up front. This is so creepy. This is incredible. It's as if they've transcended into a whole new species. Mom! I'm, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm just, I'm trying to... A poor man just died, and all you care is that these ants are some kind of mutants? No, I, I'm just trying to figure out what we're dealing with here. Can you stop them from hurting anyone else? From hurting me? Oh, my God. Oh, sweetheart, I would never let anything hurt you. I'm really scared, Mom. Oh, no, no, no. Everything is going to be fine. Oh, no. All right. Okay, what are they going to do with that body? It's going to start to get pretty stinky. How about a little respect? Why? I never met the guy. I am sure that the appropriate procedures will be followed, sir. But at least just put him down with the luggage. Excuse me. I, um, look, you know, back then.
there, you mentioned something about uh, bullet ants. Right. Why bullet? Well, when they sting, it's like being hit by a bullet. It takes 24 hours to fully recover. <laughs> Look, don't you think uh, you're overreacting just a bit? You know, I've been studying ants for years. I I've never seen anything like this. The mandible appears to be larger, and the thorax has been reinforced. So these ants are some sort of uh, super ants? Well, I don't, I don't know about super per se, but uh, they're genetically advanced. Oh, great. My name is Jamie Ross, by the way. My mom's name is Carrie. Hi. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Uh, my name is Ethan. What do you do? Are you with the airline? Uh, not technically. I'm, um, I'm a U.S. Air Marshal. Cool. See, we're brought on planes to protect people from terrorism. So I'm kind of trading in unfamiliar territory here. I would really appreciate your help. Oh, yeah, sure, what, whatever I can do. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm this close to retirement, and my plane's overrun by ants. It's almost embarrassing to call this one in. Hey, it's your decision, Captain. Well, you better get Miami Tower on the line here. Miami Control, this is Trans South Air 603, declaring an in-flight emergency. Miami Control, 603, what is your emergency? Ants. Ants? What do you mean, ants? You'll have to explain, Captain. These aren't normal ants. They killed a passenger. Miami Tower, this is the captain. Um, we'll get back to you in a few minutes. Roger. You know, it's going to be impossible for us to convince anyone that we have a real emergency here, so uh, why don't you go ask Dr. Ross to come and join us? Thanks. I really don't think the ants are going to bother us. But you told the pilot these bullet ants could be extremely dangerous. I said that they could be. But I think that they're going to be a lot happier down in the cargo hold than up here where somebody could step on them. What if they come back up? We're trapped here with them. There's nowhere to run. Uh, excuse me. How's my vodka coming on? I'm just wondering. I'll be with you in just a minute, sir. What's a guy gotta do to get a drink around here, huh? Hey, keep it down! Give me a break! Mrs. Ross? Yeah? The captain would appreciate it if you could come to the cockpit. I'll be right back. Dr. Ross, we think it would help if you would speak with the air traffic controller in Miami and explain how serious our situation is. Of course. Good. I'll put the uh, speakerphone on. Okay. Miami Tower, this is Trans South Air 603. Roger, 603. Are you still requesting emergency landing? Yes, and we have someone on board who can elaborate on our problem. Hi, this is Dr. Carolyn Ross from the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia. An ant doctor. Go ahead, tell me. Uh, Dr. Carolyn Ross. You can call Dr. Andrew Scott at the CDC if you need verification. Just tell him about the bugs. We have a large swarm of black bullet ants on board that pose a serious threat to the passengers and the crew. Really? Ants? Can't you just step on them? Well, these ants have a sting that is toxic and incredibly painful. Multiple stings can be lethal. I would estimate that there's a queen on board, probably a few thousand soldier ants. Their job is to protect the queen, so if they feel threatened, they will attack en masse. All right, ants. Dangerous ants, I get it. There's just one other thing. Um, these ants appear to be genetically different. Different in what way? Well, they're stronger, they're faster, they may even be smarter. One thing is for certain, certain. they're deadlier. Okay, 603, we're gonna have to get back to you on this. In the meantime, I suggest that you try to defuse the situation using a jar of peanut butter. Get back to us. I think you scared him, Doctor. I guess we're on our own for the time being.
Captain, what's going on here? I realize how upsetting this has been, but if uh, we all stay calm and uh, keep our heads, we'll be fine. Are we still going to Atlanta? Actually, we're going to put down in Miami. Shh. It's protocol when you have a situation like we have on board now. Well, what exactly is our situation? We've got a stiff on board, dude. Right now, we're just waiting for um, tower clearance from Miami. So in the meantime, um, drinks are courtesy of Trans South Air. Hey, hey, hey. Now there's a man who clearly understands his priorities. Hey, everybody, drinks on the house. But why don't we make mine a double, please? Yeah? crawling all over the plane. That's not fine. I'm sorry, what I meant to say is that I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. <sighs> Do you think about him a lot? Do I think about who? Dad. Oh, sure. All the time. I miss him. Especially now. I know what you mean. Is that why you don't date? Because you feel like you'd be cheating on him or something? <laughs> no. No, regardless if I, I dated or... Even if I fell in love and I, I got married someday, your father's always going to be a very important part of my life. You not be. I see his face every time I look at you. Sorry, I was kind of a bitch before. Were you? I didn't notice. <laughs> right. Everything's go. It's just a temporary outage. What do you think caused that? I don't know, but I don't like it one bit. I hear you. guy is pretty hot in an older man kind of way and no wedding ring you're unbelievable <laughs> mom when opportunities present themselves you gotta take them look even if he isn't wearing a ring on his left hand that doesn't necessarily mean that he's single okay forget the ring i saw the way he looked at you definitely interested This is TA-603 Miami. Yes, what's the news? Still working on your request to land due to your little ant problem. We'll notify as soon as we get word. Did you pass along that this was an emergency landing request? All information was passed on to the appropriate party, 603. And who exactly are the appropriate parties? The American Federation of Bug Farms. Come on, McCready, you know how this works. There's no way they can refuse our request to land, is there? No. No, absolutely not. I just got off of the tower in Miami. 603 is still headed in their direction, but we haven't issued any clearances yet. So, what do we know? Dr. Monaghan, this is Director Blumenthal. Dr. Monaghan is a myrmecologist in Columbia. Dr. Monaghan. Oh, please, call me Mike. Um, what should I call you? Director will be fine. So, Dr. Monaghan, what do we have on our hands? Well, from what Miss Simmons has told me, the plane is infested with black bullet ants. Have you ever heard of these ants using a human body as a host? No, never, which is what concerns me. I understand there's an entomologist on board. A Dr. Carolyn Ross with CDC who believes these ants may have genetically changed in some way. Is that possible? Well, I would say it was more than likely. Natural adaptation. I mean, their habitat's been severely altered over the past 20 years. By whom or what? 
Some of it's from changing weather patterns, but most of it's due to what we humans call progress. Mining, farming, construction, chemical runoff, etc. They adapt to survive. So basically, we drew them out of their home, and now they've come back to bite us in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Don't you give us the bottom line here. What is the threat if this plane should land and the ants make it onto our soil? I don't understand. What do you mean, if the plane lands? What the director meant to say was... What is the threat, Doctor? I honestly don't know, Director. Um, uh, let me do some research and I can get back to you. You've got 15 minutes. 15 minutes, but I need to run tests. I need to, before I can give any type of... You are wasting time. I'll get back to you in 15 minutes. So, what do I tell Miami Tower? That we'll get back to them in 16 minutes. Picnic, huh? You okay, Duba? On here. Ah, celebration. One of the passengers was attacked by the ants, and Mr. Hart was able to kill them with the fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher? Yeah. I bet you never thought these were the kind of terrorists that you're going to take on. Ready for the unexpected, right, Captain? Glad you were born. Thanks. A little announcement we're going to be on the Captain, ground. There's one right there, and there's more right above you. Anymore. You know, it comes down to it, they're just ants, right? But they're, they're everywhere. Well, we need more fire extinguishers. It's not enough to go around. Look, just trust us. We're going to stay on top of this situation, all right? I don't want to get stung or bit or whatever they're doing. We have to do something. How about we depressurize the cabin? Well, Captain, we have enough oxygen masks. But is that going to be enough to kill the ants? Yeah, it might be. But, you know, these ants are normal. Anything that can hurt the ants can hurt us, especially the babies and children. I don't want to do anything that could hurt my baby. I won't let that happen. Look, it is the survival of the group that counts. Now, I say we vote on it, right? Yeah. We're not ants. Individuals may not matter in their society, but they matter in ours. Look, I'm sure your little baby's going to be fine. Okay, but even if a couple people get hurt and, and we kill all the ants, we have won! Are, are you kidding me, Jason? Well, come on, Doodlebug. Everybody on this plane wants to get out of here alive, but nobody's willing to speak up about it. Are you really that selfish? Look, if my survival comes at the price of somebody else getting hurt, hey, so be it. All right, all right, there's no point in discussing this any further because we are not going to depressurize. Please sit down, sir. Please sit down. In life, only the strong survive. And the ants, they are the perfect example. Why do I have the feeling that even though I'm married to you, I barely know you? Every minute that goes by gets us closer to Miami. 
captain behind you! I need oxygen and ice. The captain's been attacked by the ants. He's in shock. What else could go wrong? I don't know. What do we do now? Stay calm. Who's looking after the captain? Mrs. Ross and Mr. Hart. Anybody have an asthmatic inhaler? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Excuse me. Here. Are you a nurse, too? One of the first things you learn when you become an entomologist how to survive if you're home by two. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it should alleviate the effect of the bites. It's almost like that attack had some strategic thought behind it. Yeah, an act of imagination, maybe. It's like they sent out some scouts, found a target, and then just sent in the troops. Let's well, not panic, please. I'm telling you, I've never seen ants with this level of intelligence or sophistication. Go tell the passengers to strap in. I've got to reboot the system and make it a little bumpy. It's going to be okay. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a drink. You can get whatever you want, baby. Oh, can't you just shut up? Please. Now, the co-pilot is going through a routine in-flight procedure, which may cause a slight momentary drop in pressure. Momentary loss in pressure? What is going on? If this is to occur, the oxygen masks may drop down. But this will only last for a few seconds, so there's no need for panic. I shouldn't have brought Buddy, man. Why did I bring him? How are you feeling, Captain? Better. I should have listened to you. These, these ants are a lot more dangerous than I thought. He doesn't look good. I think Neil's gonna need some help up front. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to do it. Do you know anything about piloting a plane? I'm a fast learner, Captain. It's okay, honey, we don't need the masks yet. No, Neil's just rebooting the system. That's okay. I'm coming. Okay. Hands, we're gonna stay down below. They come back up here. I don't know, honey. Well, what if they come back again? Come here. Is there anything I can do to help? One more to go. Damn it. I was afraid of that. What's going on with the system? It's fried. I don't know what those critters are doing down there, but I'm guessing they've eaten through some of the wiring. But that's not good, is it? That's only part of the problem. There's a dip in our fuel level, which would indicate a leak. Well, well how can a, an electrical short lead to a fuel leak? Fuel's pumped through a series of electronically controlled flow valves. If the pressure meter's fried, fuel backs up, which could then result in a blown valve gasket. Okay, so, so in one hand, we have a fuel leak, and on the other hand, the fire suppression unit is not working. So we're a flying Molotov cocktail. Another electrical short in the wrong place. A spark and boom? Yeah, boom. We've got to repair that fuel valve. Look, I'd go down there myself, but until Captain McGrady recovers, I'm flying solo. What about autopilot? It's dead. OK, you land this plane, and I'll take care of the ants and the fuel leak, all right? OK.
Now, I was able to access data from ongoing studies at the University of Bogota, and as it turns out, the indigenous bullet ant population in the area has, in fact, evolved into a slightly different creature. Meaning? It's more lethal, more aggressive, faster breeding. Doctor, how quickly do they multiply? Well, a young queen only needs a half a dozen ants to start a new colony, which takes about a day. In less than a month, that colony will grow to over 500, and in a year, over 20,000. What about eradication? Um, the U.S. government used a poison called Mirex. It was effective, but it was banned in 1976. Sounds like a problem we don't want arriving on U.S. soil. Well, with no natural predators, the ants could wreak havoc on livestock and agriculture, not to mention the threat they pose to humans. Uh, 20 years ago in Costa Rica, they had an outbreak of bullet ants, which accounted for over half a million stings. Now, keep in mind, these weren't the new and improved version. Doctor, I'm going to have to impress upon you the confidentiality of these conversations. Uh, director, who am I going to tell? No one. Unless you want to be charged with treason. Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. so we can spend a little more time together. Don't worry about it, Mom. I know you've got a lot of responsibility. I can deal. You know how I'm always wanting you to prioritize your life? You know, school, homework, socializing. Yeah, well, I think that I need to work a little harder to prioritize my life. I don't want to wake up one day and find that my teenage daughter is 24, married, and has two kids. Trust me, by the time I'm 24, I expect to have at least five kids. Oh. <laughs> How are you feeling? All the effects of a terrible hangover with none of the joys of getting there. Well, you're not planning on flying. Not unless I'm the last option, and we better pray that doesn't happen. So what's our status here? No autopilot. Half the system gauges are down, as are the hydraulics. We've lost fire suppression. There seems to be a leak in the fuel line. That's all? Affirmative. Well, we... We can live without the gauges. And we can operate the hydraulics manually. What are we doing about the fuel leak? Mr. Hart is on it. What's he know about it? Nothing, Captain. But he's the best we've got. Roger that. Has Miami gotten back to us? I tried them just a few minutes ago. They said they'd get back to us ASAP. That storm cell's moving faster than I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, the pilot has advised that we may experience some turbulence. All passengers are requested to remain in their seats. You don't take much when you travel. Nope. No wife or girlfriend? No cat, no fish. I'm never home. It makes it a lot easier that way. Okay, look, what should I be looking for? Everything that the ants do involves protecting the queen. So you need to find the nest and neutralize her. Okay. Now, you know what? I'm gonna come with you. Now, look, I appreciate everything you've done, but you're gonna stay here with your daughter. You actually believe that, or is that some macho act you've got? Mom! It would be macho if I can't deliver, but I will deliver. Look, you need my help here. You know it. She's right. You should be okay on your own. Hey, like mother, like daughter, right? Absolutely. So, Marshall, what do you say? Just call me Ethan. Okay, Ethan. Have you got another one of those? See what I can find. You having fun? Uh, vodka bowling, buddy. Hey, excuse me. <sighs> Let's set this up again, amigo, all right? You are officially cut off, sir. And don't grab me. Sure, you're gonna be okay. It's cool. Go save the world. Just make sure you come back in one piece. Of course. You know what you can do? Why don't you scrounge around, see if you can find a couple of bottles of hairspray? Hairspray? I'm glad you want to look good on your date with Ethan, but just do it. <sighs> oh. 
I'm sorry. Here. Oh, great. Now, I'm sure that the plane has a load of freight on board. Yeah, they all do. Okay. Uh, we should look at the manifest, see what's on board. This way. Where are you going? No, Sit down. Fine. Free drinks. Sir, the seatbelt huh? sign is on. Would you please take your seat? <laughs> Enough of your full yeah. crap! Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Oh, watch. You have a choice. You sit in your seat, or we tie you to it. One more problem out of you, and I'm gonna have you arrested in Miami. Do you hear me? Believe this bull crap? Sit. Ken! You know what? This is the last time I ever fly an airline again, then, huh? Shut up. Fine. Thank you. What are you doing, man? Now, if anybody else would like a coffee, tea, or a piece of me, I'll be right around. We're losing power in number two. Fuel pump's offline. Switching to auxiliary, reducing power. Hogs pump online, but we're still losing fuel from the main line. Yeah, what exactly are you looking for? Anything that might help. Might be overly optimistic to think that we're carrying a couple of gallons of insecticide on board. We might have something just as good. Is that hot water ready? I'll check. Are you always so cryptic, Dr. Ross? Rose has so many questions, and it's Carrie. It's ready. Great. I also found three large bottles with the pop tops. Do you still want those? Yeah, definitely. Great. Those are for him. Not exactly ant poison, but they don't like toxins in their face. Well, it works. <sighs> I still have the fire extinguisher, right? You're gonna be okay. They're just a bunch of bugs, right? You ready? Hey, can I look ready? Mm. Here, hold that. Excuse me. Here you go. Okay. Okay? Yeah. What do you see? A lot of darkness. Oh, they love the darkness. <laughs> That's comforting.
other passenger's been attacked. What's the status? Critical. Which passenger was attacked? One of those college boys, the drunk one. Thank you. We've got to get this thing on the ground. 603, this is Miami Center. 603 on the wire, Miami. Diversion to Miami has been rescinded, 603. Copy that. Advise a new course and heading, Miami. 603, you have been denied permission to land. All U.S. airspace is now closed to your flight. They're afraid of the ants. A ban on entering U.S. airspace is unacceptable, Miami. We have 40 passengers on board. Your flight has been classified a threat to national security, 603. All airspace is closed. Out there, 603, declaring an emergency. This is Havana 603. Declare the nature of your emergency. We are declaring a mayday, Havana. Permission to land in the Republic of Cuba has been denied. Any attempt to intrude our airspace will cause your aircraft to be shot down. We can try NASA or Haiti. It's not going to make any difference. I mean, everyone thinks that the ants are like the plague. Okay, Doc, so what exactly are we looking for? Number 27. It's a shipment of borax from the Andes Mountains on its way to the U.S. to be processed into detergent. When we do find it, huh? how's it going to work? Oh, we'll mix it with uh, a bottle of water and we'll turn it into high concentrate boric acid. Like uh, insecticide? You're catching on fast. Watch out, watch out. Get back, move back. Hot water is only a temporary measure. It won't kill all the ants. What's their status? They've declared a mayday. Contacted Havana. Do you think Castro would offer them sanctuary, turn the whole thing against us to embarrass the president? Saving the people on that plane means putting out a welcome mat to the ants. Her word's gotten out, and trust me, no one wants that cargo in their country. How did word get out? You're not that naive, Ms. Simmons. We're talking about 44 innocent American people. No. We are talking about a threat of major proportions to America. Now, are you and I going to have a problem here? We need to throttle back to conserve fuel. Cut it back to 70%. Seventy percent. Any luck with the fuel valve, Mr. Hart? Look, we can't get on that side of the airplane just yet, Captain. Well, our situation's getting worse by the minute up here. Look, we don't want to be down here more than we have to, Captain. I found it! This way! Why don't you just give me the fire extinguisher, huh? I know how to use it. Yeah, but look, you're just a kid, all right? And there may be more of these ants, and they'll just start attacking you. Did you see her back there a minute ago? No. You did great. Thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, great job. Okay, 
over there, sir? to divert to Port-au-Prince. Permission to enter Haiti airspace denied 603. Funny. If we had terrorists on board, they'd do anything they could to get us on the ground. But ants, we're a pariah. No one wants us. You'll all be damned if I'll be prevented from getting these people safely on the ground. Because of what? Because of a, a panic over insects? We could try controlled ditching in the Keys or Cuba. If we hit a reef or rocks and it will break up, the people in the back won't stand a chance. Wait a minute, in the Air Force, we always had secondaries, in case of an emergency. We used to use Weir Field, East of Mobile. Yeah. You have any idea what its status is today? Well, the base was closed. You think the runway would, would still be usable? Might be, but it's only a 5,000-footer. Fine for Hornets, but it's a little short for this baby. Probably burn out the brakes and bust out a few tires. Yeah, what beats the hell out of the alternative, doesn't it? Which is what? Fly around until we run out of fuel. Set a course for Mobile. New course set. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. Oh, well, yeah? Well, I have to admit, you look pretty silly holding it. Bottle of hairspray in each hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dr. Ross, you're a pretty amazing woman, you know that. This chemical's really toxic. I have to be very careful with the balance of the mixtures. Can you please stop staring? I can't. You know, it's pretty natural, you know? Men look at women, and women look... Look at themselves being looked at. Well, maybe other women, but not you. That's where you became Dr. Carolyn Ross. To escape. From what? From being observed. And now you do the looking. Really? Sure. Through a tiny microscope. When did you become a psychologist? Well, I wouldn't call myself a psychologist. I just... It's my job to observe people. To protect. Everybody's got something they hide behind. Degree. Badge. Something like that. Oh, no. We've got company. They keep coming. They're relentless. Well, your procedures are threats so instinctively. They want to attack you. I'm out! Okay, move now! Brilliant, you did it. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't sure it was gonna work. Sergeant, you ready? Yeah, Captain, I'm here. You set a course for Mobile. What, Alabama? Unless you know of another one, Doc. The problem is, we're gonna be really tight on fuel. We can't afford to lose another drop. Okay, we have to neutralize the Queen and find a different type of fuel valve. Okay, let's find the nest. Hope it's not big enough, because we have nothing left. <sighs> Too long. Fuel? Yeah. I have your attention, please. I'm 
afraid that we've been diverted away from Miami. What? Seems that everybody knows about our unwanted guests and uh, nobody wants them in their country. No, 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 no. No, we should land in Miami or Atlanta and say to hell with them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What are they going to do? Shoot us down? Unlikely, but it still remains a possibility. <laughs> Come on, you're kidding, right? More likely what they'd do is they would just uh, block the runway, make it impossible for us to touch down. Well, how about if we do a water landing? I mean, there are plenty of cruise ships in this part of the Caribbean. I mean, the ants, they'd go down with the plane, and we'd be rescued in no time. Yeah, it could work, Captain. No, no. Ditching an aircraft of this size is far too risky. Oh, so you're saying that it's better to either fly around until we run out of gas or get stung to death? We're making a run for an abandoned Air Force base near Mobile. Well, we can't make it there. We're screwed. Oh, God. Here we go again. Look, this is not a question that's up for debate, sir. This aircraft and the lives of all the passengers on board are my responsibility. I'm the captain, which means I make the decisions. Yeah, but you're sick. Now, how do we know you're rational? Come on. There's two guys dead already. I told you our plans out of courtesy, sir. Not obligation. Well, you know what? I paid a lot of money for my tickets, and that entitles me to a vote. Actually, you're entitled to nothing. And if I hear one more word out of you, I can guarantee that FAA security will make sure that you never set foot on another plane. Please sit down, sir. You can't do that. Do you want to try me? I didn't think so. All right, everybody. Please buckle up and trust us that we will deliver you home safely. That's our job. There's no way I'm going to be responsible for you missing your wedding. All right, everybody, please stay seated and buckled in. This is the main electrical panel for the plane. You think she could be in there? Dark and warm. Okay, hold this. Fix the fuel line, get the hell out of here, okay? Sorry for the turbulence, folks. A little unstable air. We should be through this patch in just a few minutes. How we doing? Well, at our current speed, we're, we're approximately 54 miles from Mobile. And fuel? Uh... We're good for about 95 minutes. That's uh, plus or minus five minutes. And of course, that's assuming that Hart can stop the leak and that uh, 
The air base at Weir is still open. Now I know why the other pilots call you Sunshine. They do, do they? Hart! Turbulence is eating up the fuel. Report status. You're right. Pressure meter is fried. Well, the valve must be frozen shut. Listen, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to patch those wires together. And then to reboot the pump. That should open up the valve. Captain, I'm not a flight mechanic. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just splice those wires together. Well, what if the wires spark when we're reconnecting them? Let's not go there. problem right in our way. Okay, wait, wait. No spark, no boom. Go for it. Right up here. It's working. Okay, Captain, now what? There's a blue switch, okay, and it's labeled System Reset. Yeah. Okay, now what you do is you flip it to the down position. For three seconds. And you flip it back up. That, that should reboot the... The flow valve. Three, two, one. Not working. Try it again. Three. Two, one. No luck. Damn. Florida, please. He could be aiming for Pensacola. If you were forbidden to land, would you put down at a naval base? How about Weir? Deactivated Air Force Base. Tell us a landing strip. Get the Pentagon.
Whoa, what just happened? We lost our onboard computer. Great, now we're flying crippled and blind. So now we, we navigate the old way. Geographic landmarks. Oh. You okay? Yeah, thank you. This I could do. You can let go of me now. But your orders, Red Leader One. I've been told to treat the situation as a terrorist threat. Sir. The situation and all the passengers. Any one of them could be a carrier. Roger that. Right. So there'll be no survivors. The situation must be contained. That plane cannot land. If we are to succeed, we must be as ruthless as they are. What if it was your family on that plane? You might want to try a different argument with me. All I've got is two ex-wives and a son who I haven't spoken to in over 10 years. Most people aren't as dysfunctional as you are. Insulting your superior isn't such an effective tactic either. Director, there are women and children on that plane. I believe you took classes in risk management. Why can't we simply allow them to land and then put them into quarantine? Miss Simmons, in almost every person's life, they come to a place where they feel the need to draw a line in the sand. Early on, I learned that the only way to do my job effectively was to forget about that line completely. I suggest you do the same. Can't do it, Director. You can. Not for ants. Good evening, Channel 5. How may I direct your call? Hal Roberts, please. Roger. Sweetheart! Mom! Sweetheart! Mom, you smell like oh. gasoline! Look what we found. Oh. This little guy got him for you. He's lucky to be alive. Where did you find him? Just keep her down low, okay? <laughs> Beginning descent. Damn. Like ready. Grab the fire extinguisher. You get them all? Keep your eyes on the road. I got your back. Get 
Party. Uh, I wonder just how welcoming they're gonna be. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're taking it down. Initiating landing gear. Come on. Come on! down, sir. All right, so go. Deliver the order. Go, 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 go. Reverse thrusters. Attendance. Prepare to deploy flight. <laughs> the situation must be dealt with before the passengers disembark. News crew. Stand down. I repeat, stand down. We've got a snag, sir. Hey, we've been chugging first place. Let's go. Forget this. Just sit down. It's okay there. Just hold on. This is Hal Roberts reporting. As you can see, the plane has landed, and people are being evacuated.
quarantine them until they can be tested. And seal off the area. Let's go, get them on the bus! Move it on your back, people, as quickly as you can! Let's go! You guys okay? Yeah, you all right? Come on. He's doing okay. It's just a little scared, that's all. Buddy needs a good home. Ollie would've wanted it. Thanks. I'm going to call him Lucky. Thank you. I don't think I'll be needing that anymore. Baby, we made it. Okay, good, let's go. Come on, up on the bus. Go, go, on the bus. I hope this Trans South doesn't bill you for the plane. Let him try, right? <laughs> I guess we're gonna be in quarantine for a little while. Looks that way. Maybe when we get out, you could come over. Visit Lucky, see how he's doing. I'd like that. I like that too. Let's go, let's move it, please, let's go, people. Please, let's go, let's go. 